Good evening, and welcome to the Dan Delary High School Class of 2021 Valediction Ceremony. My name is Jeremy Wynn, the high school principal, and it is my honor tonight to recognize the exceptional young people who make up the Class of 2021. Tonight's virtual celebration will honor graduates with awarded scholarship certificates and gifts that can be attributed to their hard work and the support of their families. The awards that are presented this evening have been donated by organizations, businesses, and families in the Danville community. The community continues to give valuable support to the students who attend Danville Area High School, and for that, we are grateful. A special thanks this evening also goes to the people who volunteer to create the videos and make up the wonderful program, and a big thank you also goes out to Paul Brion for putting it all together. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We hope you enjoy the ceremony, and have a great evening. Welcome, families, friends, and fellow classmates. As class president, it is my honor to welcome you all to valediction. I would like to congratulate all of my fellow classmates on making it this far and doing so much in the past four years. This year has been very hard and different, and us as a class have been through something that no other class in history has, as well as achieved a lot together through these hardships. I am very proud that our class could achieve so much. The past four years, we have fundraised more money than any other class in Danville history, and I'm very proud of you all. We did this together, and we all worked very hard towards it. And you all deserve recognition. Even with COVID, we have thrived during this time. I know it's been hard at times, but I'm glad that the past four years, I can make such amazing memories of all of you that will last a lifetime. I'd like to thank you all for listening, and we will get on with validation. Congratulations to everyone. It is a great pleasure to speak on behalf of the seniors of the Danathos chapter of the National Honor Society at Danville High School. These seniors have maintained an overall GPA of at least a 95 during their high school careers. In addition, they exemplify the strength of character that makes them role models for other high school students. They are also school leaders who are dedicated to giving their time and energy to both school and community service projects. This year, providing service to our school and local community was more challenging. However, this group rose to the challenge. During the month of December, the membership made over 50 lap blankets for the residents at Grandview Nursing Home. This effort was led by senior Cora Charlton. The membership was also active throughout the year with a Good Samaritan mission. Senior Sal Lamarca and the Young Samaritans led this work. The membership has found creative ways to overcome the challenges of serving during a pandemic and have served their community in many ways. I am so proud of this group of senior NHS members. They have persevered during a difficult school year. It is my pleasure to introduce them to you now. Riley Out, NHS President, attending Pennsylvania State University. Darcel Patel, NHS Vice President, attending Carnegie Mellon University. Joy Zhang, NHS Secretary, attending the University of Pennsylvania. Salvatore Lamarca, NHS Treasurer, attending Bloomsburg University. Paige Holcomb, NHS Public Relations, attending Villanova University. Rook Raj Agrawal, attending the University of California, Los Angeles. Jenna Angel, attending Pennsylvania State University. Brianna Appleman, attending Bloomsburg University. Ralph Baker, attending the University of Pittsburgh. Robert Balcom, attending Bucknell University. Lydia Bechet, attending Bloomsburg University. Sarah Bowen, attending Virginia Polytechnical Institute and State University. Jordan Brookhart, attending the Georgia Institute of Technology. Cora Charlton, attending Edinburgh University. Kira Chillis, attending Pennsylvania State University. Emma Lynn Deal, attending Bloomsburg University. Jordan Deal, attending Elizabethtown College. Brandon Eckert, attending Bloomsburg University. Miles Ferguson Avery, attending a trade school Kaylee Fish, attending Moravian University. Grace Fitzgerald, attending Columbia University. 
Alexander Gresh, attending Bloomsburg University. Taylor Hawes, attending Lebanon Valley College. Madeline Hand, attending Misericordia University. Madison Harriman, attending the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Caleb Hawes, attending Canisius College. Douglas Hauser, attending the Oregon Institute of Technology. Laura Hilkert, attending Bloomsburg University. Andrew Johnson, attending the Pennsylvania State University. Grace Keebler, attending the University of Scranton. Thomas Kovachets, attending Bloomsburg University. Logan Minofsky, attending the Pennsylvania State University. Madeline Muccillo, attending Pennsylvania State University. Olivia Out, attending Pennsylvania State University. Irvish Patel, attending Pennsylvania State University. Grace Petrick, attending Boston College. Jenna Reebson, attending the University of Pittsburgh. Grace Salerno Oswald, attending Franciscan University. Kira Snyder, attending Bloomsburg University. Noelle Stamm, attending the University of Pittsburgh. Kendall Thompson, attending American University. Emma Verano, attending the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Kayla Wagner, attending Bloomsburg University. Angela Warner, attending the University of Pittsburgh. Kate Woodruff, attending Bloomsburg University. Cora Wydra, attending Pennsylvania State University. Annalise Yike, attending Messiah University. Zoe Zola, attending Northeastern University. Congratulations, members of the class of 2021, on this very auspicious occasion. My name is Robert Buhner. I'm a very proud member of the Danville High School class of 1971. So it was 50 years ago that I sat in a valediction ceremony, just like you are at home or wherever you're watching this tonight. It is my great honor to present four different scholarships. Before I do, I want to take a moment to congratulate you, the class of 2021, on your incredible athletic performance this year. I have watched Danville Athletics for 65 years now, and this class may go down in the long and storied history of Danville High School as perhaps the best class in athletics that we have ever seen. So congratulations to all the Ironmen and Lady Ironmen in your midst. It is my distinct pleasure also to present the Ackerman Family Scholarship. Mr. Kenneth Ackerman Jr. came to Danville in 1964 as a young hospital administrator at Geisinger. And over his long and storied career at Geisinger, all of the things you see in the Geisinger campus, he had a hand in building. And he left a wonderful system of health care for all of us in our community. His wife, Patricia, was an English teacher here in the Danville High School. She had an incredible love of reading and loved teaching the great books to her students. The Ackermans had three children, Kenneth Ackerman, a star football player, wrestler, and academic talent, who is now one of the top hospital administrators in the United States at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Christopher was a state champion wrestler who went on to the United States Military Academy at West Point and served our country defending our freedom. The youngest one, Peter, also a great football player, great wrestler and student, went on to Duke University and is now a physician. 
serving low-income communities in the United States. So the Ackerman family, one of the first families of Danville, is proud to establish a scholarship to honor Danville High School students. And I'm pleased to announce the recipients of that scholarship. Andrew Johnson, KJ Riley, and Christopher Out. Good evening, graduates. My name is Tom Harabi. I'm the band director at Danville Area High School. It's my honor today to present the Agnes St. Clair Memorial Scholarship. In recognition of Agnes St. Clair's many years of service to Trinity United Methodist Church in the Danville community in the area of vocal and instrumental music, the members of Trinity United Methodist Church have set up a music scholarship fund in her name. The successful candidate must be studying music education at a four-year university, and I am pleased to present this year's award to Ms. Kira Chillis. Good evening. I'm Mike Schultz, and I'm an ag teacher and FFA advisor here at the high school. Um, I'm here to announce the Agricultural Award. This award is given to a student who has taken four years of ag education here at the high school and has accumulated the highest GPA in their ag classes. And I'm proud to announce Miranda Hackenberg as this year's Ag Award recipient. Congratulations. The Alec Katie Burns Academic Achievement Award is provided to a graduating senior with an interest in the health professions who has demonstrated community involvement. The recipient of the Al and Katie Burns Achievement and Community Award is Grace Salerno Oswald. Congratulations. My name is Mike Schultz. I'm Danville High School Ag Teacher and FFA Advisor. I'm here this evening to um, announce the Amaker Family Scholarship that was given in memory of Mary L. Fry. Um, I have the honor of presenting this scholarship. Um, the scholarship honors a graduating senior who has participated in the Ag program. The, the recipient of this year's Amaker Family Scholarship is Kate Woodruff. Congratulations. Good evening. The next award is the Anthony Brophy Scholarship Award. I have the honor of awarding the Anthony Brophy Scholarship Award this evening. This scholarship was created in memory of Anthony Brophy, a Danville High School graduate of the class of 2008. Tonight's recipients have exhibited the qualities that made Anthony the special person he was. Tony was funny, happy-go-lucky, but a hard-working student athlete. It is my honor to present this year's recipients Sydney Fetter and Ian Persing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeff Lynch, and I'm a member of the art department. Um, this year we had lots of very talented students, uh, maybe the most talented group that I've ever had, uh, but one student stood above the rest. Uh, Emma Verano, congratulations on receiving this year's art award. It is my pleasure to present 10 scholarships for the Arthur M. Peters Scholarship. Mr. Peters was a colleague and a friend. He was a lawyer in Danville, and he was highly successful. He and his wife, Georgia, didn't have any children. So when he passed away a few years ago, his will was recorded at the courthouse. And all of us that knew and loved Mr. Peters found an amazing surprise. You see, Mr. Peters and Mrs. Peters did have children. They gave their entire fortune to the young people in the Danville community. They funded Sunnybrook, the community center, Geisinger's Children's Hospital, and more importantly, a scholarship fund here at Danville High School. And the scholarship fund 
has tonight the ability to award 10 separate and distinct scholarships. So I am honored and pleased to announce the recipients of those 10 scholarships. Lydia Bechet, Camden Wilson, Thomas Kovacek, Salvatore Lamarca, Jordan Deal, Cora Charlton, Brianna Appleman, Cora Widra, Kaylee Fish, and Christopher Stogdale. Congratulations on receiving this amazing scholarship. Hi, my name is John Bell and I'm a teacher and the boys head track and field coach at Danville School District. At this time, I'd like to present the Barry Seidel Track and Field Award. Before I present the award, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Barry Seidel. Barry was a physical education teacher and the boys head track and field coach from 1979 to 2014 at Danville. During his coaching, he won eight league championships, six district championships, and one PIAA state team championship. Along with those accomplishments, Barry put 43 Danville athletes on the track and field state podium in every one of the 18 track events. Barry was a passionate and dedicated educator and track and field coach. It's easy for me to speak on Barry's behalf because he coached me while I was a student athlete at Danville. The criteria for this award is an individual that competed in track and field for three or more years, showed dedication, motivation, and leadership qualities on and off the field. This year's scholarship is divided between three outstanding male track and field athletes. The first is Jagger Dressler. Jagger competed in the triple jump and the high jump and holds the school record in the triple jump. The second athlete is Brandon Zimmerman. Brandon competes in the 110 hurdles, the 300 hurdles, the long jump, and the sprints. Brandon has broken the school record in both the 110 and 300 hurdles, the long jump, and the 200 meter dash. The third athlete is Ben Bolger. Ben does the 110 hurdles, the 300 hurdles, and the triple jump. Ben is a passionate and compassionate student athlete, just tenths of a second behind Zimmerman's times. Congratulations, Jagger, Brandon, and Ben. Thank you for sharing your talent with me, and I wish you the best on the next phase of your life. The Betty R. Morrison Scholarship in memory of May Moyer is awarded to a graduating senior that has worked diligently throughout their high school career. This year's recipient of the Betty R. Morrison Scholarship is Dar Patel. This year, I have the honor of presenting the Beverly J. Lava Scholarship in memory of Betty L. Dietz. The scholarship honors a graduating senior who is pursuing a degree in education to become a teacher. The recipient of the Betty J. Lava Scholarship is Kyle Burns. Good evening. The Block Cellular Scholarship is being awarded. It provides Scholarships which are awarded every four years. One scholarship will be awarded to the top male student and the other to the top female student at the end of the third marking period. This year's recipients of the Block Selinger Award are Darcel Patel and Joy Zhang. Thank you. The Brandy E. Sudol Nursing Award is presented in memory of Brandy Sudol a 1987 Danville Area High School graduate. Brandy was an honor student while also participating in sports and other extracurricular activities. While a sophomore at Lake Homing College majoring in nursing, she was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. Brandy died in 1990, but her family and friends wished to honor her lifelong dream of being a nurse by helping others to pursue their career in the medical field. This year's recipient of the Brandy D. Sudo Nursing Award is Emmalyn Deal.
I am pleased to present to the members of the class of 2021 scholarships from the Buhner family. The first scholarship is the Robert Buhner Senior Class of 2004 of Danville High School Scholarship. This scholarship was established to honor my father, Robert W. Buhner Sr., who came to Danville in 1946 after serving as a fighter pilot in World War II. He was a teacher, a principal, and a superintendent who at Westchester State Teachers College was a music major. So the criteria for this scholarship is someone active in the community who has an interest in music and is, shows good citizenship. So our family is pleased, pleased to announce the recipient of the Robert Buhner Senior Scholarship, Owen Smith. The next two scholarships are very personal to me. This is the Robin Buhner Memorial Kindness Scholarship. This scholarship is to honor the memory of our daughter, Robin, who passed away at age 16, a member of the Daniel High School class of 2010. Robin was known by her classmates and friends as being extraordinarily kind. So when establishing this scholarship, we decided that we would reward the most important of all human qualities the quality of kindness. We are honored and delighted to recognize two of the class of 2021 who are known for their kindness. Lida Luchik and Riley Maloney. And in conclusion, allow me to say this, members of the class of 2021 and to your parents and family. Parents and family, before tonight is through, make sure you tell your son or daughter, your students, how proud you are of them. For you never know when you may have this opportunity again. Trust me on that. And to you, the students of the class of 2021, before tonight is through, take a moment or longer and tell your parents and family how much you love them and how much you appreciate all the sacrifice that they made for you to come to this ceremony tonight. And before the night is due, take that time to tell them you love them. For you never know when you may have that opportunity again. Now class of 2021, from the class of 1971, let me leave you with this. May your orange and purple banner never cease to fly. Hi, my name is Michelle Hughes and I'm here to give the Business Computer Award. And this year's recipient is Irvish Patel. Irvish has successfully completed the most business and computer classes, and also has had the highest GPA. So congratulations, Irvish. The Carl J. Marrero Memorial Scholarship is in honor of my former colleague, Carl Marrero. Mr. Marrero was a man who wanted students to enjoy school, and he wanted them to be happy and nice to each other. Mr. Marrero always wanted students to get together and participate in fun activities. In honor of Mr. Marrero, we have a yearly volleyball tournament that is run completely by the students, for the students, and then all the proceeds go to the scholarship. And that tournament has been in existence since his passing. The criteria for this scholarship is someone who exhibits good citizenship, has a good sense of humor, is grounded, shows tolerance of others and is honest. Tonight's recipient is all of those. This year's recipient of the Carl Marrero um, Memorial Scholarship is Taylor Hawes. Hi, I'm Kelly Michaels, and I'm here to present the Central Susquehanna Soccer Club's Scholarship Award. This year's recipient is being recognized for her hard work and commitment to the CSSC Soccer Club. 
Through her years of involvement in the CSSC, this recipient displayed sportsmanship, dedication to her team, and enthusiasm for soccer. She is an exceptional student athlete who excels not only on the field, but also in the classroom. This year's Central Susquehanna Soccer Club Scholarship Award is being presented to Olivia Out. Congratulations, Olivia. I have the honor of presenting the Chuck Yost Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is provided to a graduating senior who plans to pursue a career in science or biology. This year's recipient of the Chuck Yost Memorial Scholarship is Olivia Howe. The Citizenship Award is given to the member of the senior class that consistently exhibits care for others, is giving, and acts selflessly. The recipient of this year's Citizenship Award is Sydney Fetter. I have the honor of presenting the Cole Family Scholarship, which honors graduating seniors who have civic-minded interests and who have served the community and also have achieved it academically at high levels. The recipients of the Cole Family Scholarship this year are Alexander Gresh and Douglas Hazard. Congratulations. The next award that I'm going to present is the School Council Board. This award is given to a senior who has maintained a high academic standard positive behavior and has missed less than nine days in any school year. This year's recipient of the School Council Award goes to Reed Capella. Good evening, my name is Mike Schultz. I'm an ag teacher here at the high school and I'm also one of the FFA advisors. It's my privilege this evening to present the Cotner Family Scholarship given in honor and memory of Mr. Don Cotter Sr. The scholarship is provided to a graduating senior pursuing a degree in agriculture or an ag-related field. The recipient of the Cotter Family Scholarship this year goes to Blake Nail. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Mrs. Lachow Kiefer. I'm the transition coordinator at Danville High School. I am presenting the Dr. Cynthia Slosh Transition Education Award. It is my pleasure to recognize Caitlin Hansel for receiving the first runner-up honor for the Dr. Cynthia Slosh Transition Education Award. Caitlin competed against other students from the 17 school districts in the CSIU region. Caitlin received this award for demonstrating a strong personal work ethic and commitment to preparation for adult life. It has been a privilege to watch Caitlin grow into a successful young adult throughout her career at Danville High School. She maintains a positive attitude and displays diligence for reaching her goals. Caitlin, you will do amazing things as you embark on the next chapter of your life. Congratulations and best of luck at IUP. It is my pleasure to recognize Emily Hall for receiving the second runner-up honor for the Dr. Cynthia Slosh Transition Education Award. Emily competed against other students from the 17 school districts in the CSIU region. Emily received this award for demonstrating a strong personal work ethic and commitment to preparation for adult life. Emily's drive and ambition to achieve her goals are exemplary. Her kind and caring personality do not go unnoticed. Keep smiling, Emily. Congratulations and best of luck at Lock Haven University. Hello, I'm Mike Mays. I have the honor of presenting the Danville Alumni Association Scholarship. This scholarship honors graduating seniors who have demonstrated through employment or volunteer history the ability to succeed, be self-motivated, and possess strong ethics. The recipients must have earned the respect of their teachers and their fellow students. They must possess unquestionable integrity and consistently demonstrate compassion and kindness to others. The recipient of the Danville Alumni Association Scholarships are Madeline Hand and Etienne Tabby.
Good evening, graduates. My name is Tom Harabi. I'm the band director at Danville Area High School. I am pleased to present this year's Band Booster Scholarship Awards to two outstanding seniors, both studying music education next fall at four-year institutions. The two scholarship candidates selected are Owen Smith and Annalise Geck. Good evening, graduates and parents. My name is David Fortunato. I'm the president of the BPA here at Danville School District. To receive the Danville Education Scholarship Award, a recipient must meet certain criteria. They must participate in three extracurricular activities. They must show a positive attitude towards peers and others that they work with. And of course, they must major in the honorable profession of education. This year's award goes to Brianna Eckler. Congratulations, Bree, and good luck to you. The Danville BPO Elks Lodge 754 Scholarship recognizes graduating seniors who exhibit good citizenship and service to the community. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Robert Baca and Noel Stahn. The Danville High School Girls Soccer Boosters Award is designed to honor a senior member of the Varsity Girls Soccer Team that excelled both on and off the field. This year's recipient of the Soccer Boosters Award is Callie Fish. Good evening. My name is David Betts, and I'm a member of the Danville Community Foundation Board. I have the honor of presenting a scholarship dedicated to the Danville High School class of 1939. This scholarship honors graduates who have achieved to a high level of academic excellence and who plan on pursuing a post-secondary degree. It is my honor to present the Danville High School class of 1939 scholarship awards to Joanna Essenwein, Madison Harriman, Nathan Krasinski, Julia Minix, and Jamie Pandolfo. Thank you. Hi, I have the honor of presenting a scholarship donated by the Danville High School class of 1943. This scholarship honors a graduate who will be attending a post-secondary program seeking to earn a degree from a trade, technical, LPN, business, certificate, or associate degree program. It is my honor to present the Danville High School Class of 1943 scholarship to T.K. Carmo. Good luck. Good evening, my name is Mike Capita and I'm one of the teachers here at Danville Area High School. Tonight I have the honor to present the Danville High School Class of 1963 Scholarship Award. This scholarship honors a graduating senior who not only achieves at a high level, but who serves their community. I have known the recipient of this award since elementary school, and I've been able to watch her grow into the caring, kind, and smart young woman that she is today. Truly, the sky is the limit for her. Without further ado, this year's award goes to Kayla Wagner. I am proud to present the Danville Class of 1984 Scholarship. This scholarship was made possible through the donations from members of the Danville Class of 1984. Two scholarships will be awarded each year to members of the graduating class who demonstrate kindness, compassion, and empathy. The recipients of this year's Class of 1984 scholarship are Grace Fitzgerald and Riley Allen. As a former member of the Danville Rotary, it is my pleasure to present the Danville Rotary Scholarship 
This award is given to a student who must exhibit good citizenship, honesty, and integrity. The recipient should volunteer with the community and or charity, demonstrating Rotary's model of service above self. It is my honor to present the Danville Rotary Scholarship to Olivia Out. Good luck. I am honored to be presenting the Danville Unrestricted Scholarship in memory of Eleanor Burke. This scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing a career in healthcare. The recipient must have a good character, be in good academic standing, and have participated in school and community activities. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Rosemary Jacks. For her citizenship and patriotism, Zoe Zola has been awarded the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award for her citizenship and patriotism. The Donna Easton Memorial Scholarship is dedicated to honoring a graduating senior who was involved with the drama program, club, band, or choir programs. The recipient should be majoring in a helping field and be working hard. This year's recipient exemplifies all the qualities of this award. The recipient of the Don Fisher Memorial Scholarship is Angela Warner. The Deutsch Family Scholarship was developed to provide a scholarship for a graduating senior that exemplifies excellence in both academics and athletics. This year's recipient does just that. In the fall, she will take her talents to Boston College. Congratulations to Grace Petrick. The Donald J. Siebel Scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors pursuing a post-secondary degree in either economics or business. The recipient of this award must have participated in extracurricular activities, work hard, and be highly motivated to earn their degrees. The recipients of this year's Donald J. Siebel Scholarships are Robert Betts and Nicholas Crone. Congratulations. I am pleased to announce the recipient of this year's Dorothy Bonowitz Award. This year's recipient is Jenna Miller. Good evening. My name is Roger Ligon. I'm one of the guidance counselors here at the high school. Uh, I had the pleasure, or I had the honor, of presenting the Eister Jansen Scholarship. This scholarship is provided to a senior who plans to pursue a degree in engineering. This year's recipient is taking her counts to Georgia Tech in the fall. Congratulations to Jordan Brookhart. I have the honor of presenting the E. Louise Law and Symington Nursing Scholarship. This scholarship was developed to honor a graduating senior from Columbia or Montour counties who was majoring in nursing. This year's recipient is on our way to Bloomsburg University. This year's recipient of the E. Louise Law and Symington Nursing Scholarship is Kylie Mitchell. Congratulations, Kylie. Achieving the highest grade in English class in a single year is quite impressive. Achieving the highest grade for an entire high school career is absolutely incredible. That's why it's my great honor to award this year's highest overall grade in English in her high school career to the impressive and absolutely incredible Zoe Zola. Congratulations, Zoe. Hello, I'm Mr. Mash, the advisor of the Planet Club. The recipient of this year's Planet Environment Studies Award is Doug Hauser. This award was created by a group of students in the club five years ago to encourage a member of the senior class who is going on to study in the field of environmentally uh, related studies. A scholarship that is funded through the efforts of the members of the club is included with this award. Doug, as you are headed to the Oregon Institute of Technology, focus on renewable energy. We hope that you're able to have a positive impact on the environment and all of us with what you learn. Congratulations and best wishes from Planet as you venture off to the Great Northwest. Good evening. 
I'm Mike Schultz. I'm one of the ag teachers, teachers here at the high school and also one of the FFA advisors. It's my honor and privilege to announce the Danville FFA Scholarship Awards. This evening, uh, they're being awarded to three young ladies who I've known since before birth. I've known the families for a long time. Uh, three great young ladies um, who have promising futures ahead. Um, this year's FFA Scholarship Awards are going to be given to Joanna Essenwine, Annabelle Rapp, and Kate Woodruff. Congratulations, ladies. Hi, I'm Kara Arn, Branch Manager of the Danville Office of First Columbia Bank and Trust Company. First Columbia Bank would like to congratulate the class of 2021. Your family, friends, and the community are very proud of each and every one of you. Assisting and offsetting the cost of an education for our future leaders is just one way that First Columbia Bank is committed to giving back to our communities that we serve. As a proud Danville alumni, I am honored to present this year's First Columbia Bank Scholarship to Dante Howard. Congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Fishing Creek Transportation Top Math Award goes to the senior with the highest GPA in mathematics. This year's recipient of the Fishing Creek Transportation Math Award is Joy Zhang. The Fulton Bank Scholastic Achievement Award is an annual award that is provided to a member of the senior class that has achieved academically at a high level. The recipient must have a strong potential for success. This year's recipient of the Fulton Bank Scholastic Achievement Award is Ethan Weeder. Bonjour à tous. My name is Scott Hitz. I teach French here at Danville Area High School. And each year we give a, an award for the student that's a senior that has the highest average in French. And this year the award goes to Grace Keebler. So fantastic job and au revoir. Establish a memory of Gail D. James by her family and friends. Gail was an English teacher in Danville from 1975 to 1994. Her love of writing, literature, and education was obvious to anyone that knew her, and she had everlasting effect on the students that entered the classroom. Gail passed away on September 21st, 1997, and has been greatly missed ever since. The recipient of this year's Gail Eugene Scholarship is Gavin Menino. It is my pleasure to present the Gerald J. Levendowski Memorial Scholarship to a graduating senior majoring in science. This year's recipient plans to study biochemistry at the University of Scranton. Congratulations to Grace Keebler. Each year, the English department awards an exceptional student who has consistently worked hard diligently completed work and demonstrated remarkable potential to do great things. This year, the recipient of the Great Expectations Award is Jordan Deal. I have had the pleasure of teaching Jordan the past two years in English 11 and yearbook. She is a model student, quality work done on time and with a positive attitude. Her work ethic earned her a leadership position on the yearbook staff this past year. She is the 2021 yearbook business manager. She posted sales updates on the high school Instagram and kept accurate records of sales. On top of that responsibility, she completed most of the senior section by herself, as well as many other pages. Additionally, her ability to manage her time and prioritize her tasks enabled her to take ACEs and AP courses, participate in band and cheerleading, work part-time at Taco Bell, and participate in Young Samaritan activities. Jordan, you are an impressive young woman. I have no doubt you will do great things at E-Town and beyond. Congratulations and best wishes. The guidance award is being given to a couple of students this year 
that at best exemplified what it truly means to be an ironman. These students have demonstrated kindness, a willingness to help others, and are just students who their parents should be very proud of. This year's recipients are Cora Charlton, Raina Wolf, and Abigail Irvine. Good evening, graduates. My name is Tom Baravi. I'm the band director at Dan Valeria High School. I'm pleased to present the Helen Bobach Memorial Band Award in recognition of high achievement, musicianship, leadership, and character. This year's Helen Bobach Memorial Band Awards go to Salvatore Lamarca, Austin Mom, and Emma Verano. Good evening. This award is the Ironman Award. This award is presented to a student who demonstrates tremendous growth from 9th to 12th grade. The recipient of this award has been nominated by the teacher, staff, and administration. This year's recipient has faced adversity and risen above it in true Ironman fashion. Proud to announce this year's award winner for the Ironman Award, Van Merchant. Congratulations, Danville High School class of 2021. I too went to Danville High School back in 97 when my name was Lindsey Curry. I'm very honored today to announce the recipient of the Jack Curry Scholarship. This scholarship is in memory of my father who uh, was a triathlete at Danville High School and went on to play football at Penn State for Joe Paterno's first team. And I chose the recipient of this scholarship based on her ability to juggle multiple sports while getting good grades, and it certainly didn't hurt that she's going to Penn State. So without further ado, I will announce that the recipient of the Jack Curry Scholarship this year is Riley Out. Congratulations, Riley. Um, I too went to Penn State. It is, they are the best years of your life. Uh, you will meet lifelong friends, um, learn a lot, and you will walk out of there knowing that we are the best school. The Jane Hood Memorial Fund provides two scholarships to graduated seniors. One scholarship will be awarded to a student majoring in math or science, including engineering, and another scholarship will be awarded to a student majoring in graphic or visual arts. The recipients must exhibit good citizenship and community involvement. The recipients of this year's awards are Joy Zeng and Emma Brown. We are pleased to award the first of three scholarships for 2021 in memory of Jason Gordon to CJ Out. CJ played football and baseball for the Ironmen and was a teammate much like Jason. His coaches describe him as having a positive attitude, showing dedication during practices and games, and being respectful to coaches and his team. CJ worked hard during his athletic career with the Ironmen earning starting spots on the football and baseball teams his senior year. Like Jason, no one was happier for CJ than his teammates when he came up with the big play. CJ would like to pursue a career in education or school counseling. We are pleased to support this goal as he demonstrates the kindness, patience, and sense of responsibility needed to help others. We look forward to seeing the positive impact he will have on the next generation of young people. Congratulations, CJ. The second scholarship for 2021 in memory of Jason Gordon is awarded to Riley Maloney. Riley played basketball for the Lady Ironmen and is described by coaches at Danville as a kind, unselfish, and true team player. Her teachers and coaches say that she is a great friend and a hardworking student. She enjoys having fun with friends, but also took her schoolwork and responsibilities as a team member seriously. Riley plans to go to college to pursue a career as a mental health therapist. It is great to see students like Riley using their kindness and compassion to make a difference in the lives of others. This is what Jason did, and we are pleased to congratulate Riley on her accomplishments at Danville. 
The third scholarship awarded in memory of Jason Gordon goes to KJ Riley. KJ played football, basketball, and baseball his senior year at Danville. One of the things a coach had to say about KJ is that he is the best teammate. We were able to watch KJ play all three sports, and we see how he set an example by being respectful and thoughtful of his teammates. His coaches say that he worked hard to make good decisions that would give the team the best chance of success. Some of the small things we noticed were when a teammate fielded a catch and his hat fell off, KJ was the one to pick it up, give it back to him, and tell him that he made a great catch, or that he would always help a player off the court after a collision. These are definitely things that Jason did as a teammate. KJ plans to attend the Berkshire School in Massachusetts. KJ is a conscientious young man, a true leader, and a great friend and teammate. We look forward to the success that awaits him in the future. Hello everyone, my name is Tina Bartholomew, the head girls track and field coach here at Danville Area School District. It is truly a privilege to award two young ladies this year's Jeff Brandt Track and Field Scholarships. I would first like to say that I am grateful for this season. Sports are a huge part of our lives and our well-being. The two young ladies that I will be presenting these awards to realize and appreciate the values of sports. Even in uncertain times such as the pandemic, both of these ladies have continued to be active and driven toward their academic and athletic goals. This season, they showed their skills and dedication on the track and on the field. The first young lady being honored has always been involved in athletics. I hear about her days as a soccer player, and now she even helps to coach younger children in soccer. Throughout high school, she has developed her throwing skills and has progressively increased her throwing distances. This year, she has set new personal bests in all of her events, the shot put, the discus, and the javelin. Kelly Fish is a senior captain this year. She exemplifies a great work ethic and strong values in all aspects of her life and will continue to do so as a student athlete at Moravian College. Yes she will continue her track and field career in college. Kaylee, this is from Coach Taylor. Coach Taylor says, Kaylee, you have dedicated a lot of time into perfecting your craft in this sport. It's been a joy to watch you grow as an athlete, a young adult, and a leader. I'm so glad you've chosen to continue with throwing in college, and I can't wait to see how you progress. Just remember, to practice, practice, practice. Kaylee certainly makes her parents, Christina and Christopher Fish, proud and is a true teammate to the Lady Iron Women on the track and field team. I have enjoyed her and I have appreciated her very much with all of her help throughout the season. I know that Kaylee will go every bit as far as her throws and beyond. Thank you, Kaylee, for your maturity respect and responsibility. Congratulations. I have run miles and miles and miles with this next award recipient. I have run beside her and behind her, but I don't think I have ever run in front of her. I have shared stories and experiences and most precious time with her. This past year through COVID and running with masks on, I truly got to know her and enjoy her humor and her unforgettable laugh. Yes, we ran many miles with masks on. I have seen Grace get stronger and faster since her early years of running in 7th and 8th grade. It has been amazing coaching her and helping her to realize her potential. I know that she will be a lifelong runner and perhaps even run the Boston Marathon someday as she will be going to Boston College this fall on the pre-med track. Her proud parents, Dr. Mary and Dr. Tony Petrick, have supported her through all her years of distance running at Danville and have always encouraged her to be her best. I 
can attest to Grace truly being her best as a friend, a teammate, a competitor, and this year as a leader in the role as senior captain. These awards are meant for girls like Kaylee and Grace. From the team, and I as your proud coach, we wish you all the best in your futures as we find what they will bring. Congratulations on receiving the Jeff Graham Track and Field Scholarships. Good evening, graduates. My name is Tom Haravi. I'm the band director at Danville Area High School. I'm pleased to present this year's Kathleen V. Murray Berberidge Band Awards to three musicians of high character, musicianship, achievement, and leadership. This year's awards go to Rosemary Jacks, Angela Warner, and Zoe Zola. I have the honor of presenting the Ken Bills Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors the Ken Bills who coached football at Danville High School for many years. This scholarship honors a graduating senior who was, an outstanding, who was outstanding on the football field and the classroom as well. The recipient of the Ken Bills Memorial Scholarship is KJ Ryan. Good evening, my name is Rebecca Radler. I am the Key Club Advisor. This year, our Key Club President is getting our Key Club Award, Brooke Raj Agarwal. Congratulations. Hi class of 2021, congratulations on your graduation. Your class has persevered through a global pandemic and the loss of a classmate. Instead of being broken by this, you found a way to work together and help each other and us through a horrible year. We have been amazed by the love and strength you have shown us, and we hope it will help carry you through life's difficult moments in the future. The Kyle Bucky Kishis Memorial Scholarship was created for any Danville student who wishes to pursue a post-secondary education for a certificate program, associate or undergraduate degree. The recipient must participate in athletics or extracurricular activities. This year, we decided to award the scholarship to two students who bring joy and laughter to others while exemplifying a competitive and strong-willed spirit, determination, and loyalty to friends. This year's recipients of the first annual Kyle Bucky Kishis Memorial Scholarships are Brady Hill, and Kate Woodruff. You both epitomize the best characteristics of Kyle. Competitive, strong-willed, fun-loving, and a keen ability to make everyone around you laugh. Congratulations to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. It is an honor for me to present the Lisa Marie Tokar Yellow Rose Award. This award is sponsored by Beta Sigma Pi in memory of Lisa Marie Tokar. Lisa was a dedicated, kind, and caring nurse. She was always willing to help others and was an inspiration professionally and personally to the many lives she touched. She was a longtime member of Beta Sigma Pi who knew the value of friendship and who gave selflessly to her family, friends, and community. This year's recipient is continuing her academic career at Pennsylvania College of Technology, where she will, will be majoring in nursing. This year's recipient of the Lisa Marie Tokar Yellow Rose Award is Madison Harriman. It's my honor this evening to present the Local Law Enforcement Award for 2021. The Local Law Enforcement Award was established by all local law enforcement departments. Danville, Burr Police Department, Mahoney Township Police Department, the Riverside Road Police Department, and the Montour County Sheriff's Office. This award is presented to a senior who's pursuing a career in criminal justice. This year's recipient of the Local Law Enforcement Award is Brady Hill. The Local Law Enforcement Citizenship Awards 
honors graduates of the senior class who have overcome adversity, made a significant change, and contributed to the community in a positive way. This year's recipients have done all three. This year's recipients of the Local Law Enforcement Citizenship Awards are Maverick Hughes, Hunter Stein, and Corinne Showers. Good evening. My name is Emily Morgan, and I'm a teacher here at Daniel High School. Tonight, it is my pleasure to present the Mackenzie Riley Scholarship. Growing up, Mackenzie was an avid soccer player with a bright future. Her game sense allowed Mackenzie to see the big picture, and her skills gave her the ability to take control over the game. Due to her cancer, Mackenzie was unable to play soccer in high school, but contributed to the team through her work as a statistician and an unofficial coach. Mackenzie was also passionate about basketball. She enjoyed supporting her brother and her cousins and friends as they played. Unfortunately, she also cheered for UNC. She delighted in keeping stats for the girls lacrosse team as well. Along with her athletic skills, Mackenzie took great pride in her academic achievements, striving to do her best in the classroom. Outside of sports and school, Mackenzie enjoyed swapping sarcastic comments with her brother Brett, spending time with her mother Allison, rolling her eyes, and glitter. Mackenzie was a charismatic and exuberant young lady who embodied the phrase, don't give up don't ever give up, not only in her fight with cancer, but in every facet of her daily life. Mackenzie passed away in 2015 after her third battle with cancer. However, her dedication, hard work, and refusal to quit became character traits that Mackenzie was known for. Mackenzie's memory lives on in many ways, including the scholarship fund created in her honor to share with students that have the same characteristics as Mackenzie was known for. This year, the scholarship is being awarded to two deserving individuals who've excelled in the classroom, in the community, and on the athletic fields. Congratulations to Laura Hilkert and Doug Hauser. Hello, my name is Toby Gerhardt, and I teach uh, math here at Danville High School. Today, I will be presenting an award from the math department. Each year, the math award is given to a senior that has challenged himself or herself uh, by continuously taking the most challenging math courses that we uh, offer here at the high school. And that includes our three AP classes, which are AP Statistics, uh, AP Calculus AB, and AP Calculus BC. Uh, this year, the class of 2021 has uh, 13 such students. After uh, we narrow the field with those constraints, uh, the award is then given to the one student that has the highest average for the math grades throughout his or her time uh, at the high school. Uh, when the grades were calculated, this year's uh, award recipient uh, was clearly distinguished uh, himself or herself uh, from the rest of the crowd. With uh, that being said, it is with great pleasure that I announce the recipient of the 2021 math award, Joy Zhang. Uh, Joy, you are a, a hardworking, detail-oriented student uh, who is driven to achieve at the highest levels in all that you do. Uh, you work diligently to thoroughly understand everything related to your coursework. It, uh, it has been a, a true joy to teach you these past couple of years. See what I did there? Uh, I'm sure that invoked the classic Joy Zhang eye roll and maybe a little smile, uh, kind of the same reaction that all the math jokes and the puns have done in the past uh, couple of years. Um, in closing, as a math department, Joy, we wish you and, and all of your classmates the, the very best as you uh, prepare to graduate and move beyond your high school experiences. Uh, congratulations and uh, best of luck to the class of 2021 moving forward. I have the honor of presenting the Merck Cherokee Scholarship. The Merck Cherokee Scholarship is designed to honor a graduating senior who is majoring in biology, chemistry, engineering, or pharmacy. This year's recipient is on his way to Penn State University to major in pre-medicine. This year's recipient of the Merck Cherokee Scholarship is Kevin Dempsey. I will be presenting the Molly Carter Memorial Scholarship this scholarship is provided to a graduating senior pursuing a degree in education. The recipient of this award must have an interest in community service and working with young children. The recipient of the Molly Carter Scholarship is Brian Eggard. This award 
is a National Merit Scholarship Finalist Award. For their performance in the 2019 PSAT, both Zoe Zola and Joy Zhang are being recognized as finalists for the National Merit Scholarship Program. Over 1.5 million juniors entered the program, and out of these students, 16,000 semifinals were chosen. After fulfilling additional requirements, approximately 7,600 finalists were selected based on the strongest combination of academic skills, achievements, extracurricular accomplishments, and potential for success. That's 7,600 finalists in the country. Congratulations, Zoe, enjoy. I have the honor this evening of presenting the Otto Bolt Memorial Science Scholarship to a graduating senior with the desire to become a pharmacist. Otto Bolt was a compassionate, dedicated, hardworking pharmacist locally for many years. This year's recipient of this award exhibits all of Otto's traits, including a desire to become a pharmacist. She will begin her career at Bloomsburg University majoring in health sciences. The, recipients, the recipient of this year's award is Chloe Hahn. The outstanding male and female athletes of the class of 2021 have provided the Danville community with some great performances, a lot of wins, and memorable championships. The recipients of the male and female outstanding athlete awards are KJ Riley and Olivia Allen. Good evening. My name is Mike Capper. I'm one of the teachers here at Daniel Larry High School. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting the Patton Family Scholarship. This scholarship is provided to a graduating senior pursuing a post-secondary degree. The recipient of this award must be grounded, hardworking, and have a desire to succeed and learn to attain their degree. All the time that I've known this young woman, she's been an extremely hard worker, all while having the biggest smile on her face. This year's recipient of the Patton Family Scholarship is Miranda Spots. Hello, my name is Robert Fukulai. I'm the assistant principal here at Danville Area High School. The Perfect Attendance Award is awarded to the person who has perfect attendance for the past two years. The following senior has the distinguished honor of achieving perfect attendance for the for two years during her high school career. The recipient of this award is Jenna Reason. The following seniors have earned the honor of achieving perfect attendance for one year. Ralph Baker, Marcella Garcia Rodriguez, Emily Hall, Austin Long, Kylie Mitchell, and Annalise Geich. The PAAA Sportsmanship Awards are given to seniors who have demonstrated dedication to their athletics with a specific emphasis on sportsmanship within competition. The recipients of this year's PAAA Sportsmanship Awards are Jenna Angel and Caleb Haas. Good evening, the next award is the Principal's Award. This award is presented to a student who has not necessarily spent the most time in the Principal's Office, but has shown true Ironman spirit. This year's recipient of the Principal's Award is Daniel Metzer. Congratulations, Daniel. I am proud to present the Ralph Grandizio Memorial Award and the Ralph Grandizio Kindness Award. Ralph Grandizio was a loving, caring family man who always put others before himself. Mr. Grandizio was a man who had a high moral character, courage, respect, and love for others. Both recipients of this year's awards exhibit the qualities that Mr. Grandizio was fond of. This year's recipients of the Ralph Grandizio Memorial Award and the Ralph Grandizio Kindness Award are Kendall Thompson and Aiden Richter. Hello, everybody. My name 
My name is Dale Fortunato. I'm a teacher here at Danville Area School District. I have the honor of presenting Brock Steiner Family Scholarship. This scholarship provides two scholarships which are awarded for four years. One scholarship will be awarded to a student who is majoring in education, and one scholarship will be awarded for a student who is majoring in science. The two recipients this year of the Rock Steiner Family Scholarship are Herbert Patel and Kira Jones. Good luck to both. I have the honor of presenting the Robert L. Gatsky and Ben E. Gatsky Healthcare Profession Scholarship that provides a multi-year scholarship to a Danville area high school graduating senior pursuing a degree in a healthcare related field including medicine, physician's assistant, nursing, or physical therapy. This year's recipient is Kylie Mitchell. Hello, my name is Chris Johns and I'm here to present the Ronald J. Kanaski Leadership Scholarship Fund. The Ronald J. Kanaski Leadership Scholarship honors seniors who have demonstrated leadership while participating in either varsity wrestling or varsity golf during their high school careers. The recipients of this year's Ronald J. Kanaski Leadership Scholarship have excelled in both wrestling and golf, and they are Robert Betts in golf and Andrew Johnson in wrestling. Congratulations to both outstanding student athletes and best of luck in your future endeavors. I have the pleasure of presenting the Roscoe A. Faust and William C. Heller Family Scholarship. This scholarship is provided to graduates that have a preference to a course of study in veterinary medicine, paralegal, agricultural related field, or engineering. The recipient should demonstrate successful involvement in school-related extracurricular activities and in the community. This year's recipients are Madeline Mutrillo and Paige Holcomb. Good evening, members of the class of 2021, family, friends, Danville Area School District employees. My name is Chris O'Rourke, a member of the class of 1983. First off, congratulations on reaching this milestone. What a big night for you, especially given the events of the past 15 months. Enjoy tonight, enjoy this time, and good luck. Secondly, I wanna tell you a little bit about my mom, Sandy O'Rourke. She was born and raised in Newport Perry County and was the valedictorian of her class. She went on to become a nurse and worked at Harrisburg Hospital where she met my dad. After a stint in Okinawa for my dad with the Air Force, they and two of my siblings came to Geisinger for a residency that soon became a permanent position with Danville becoming their new hometown. Three more kids, including myself, would be added to the family. At some point, my mom joined the Geisinger Auxiliary and took charge of a rummage sale at St. Peter's United Methodist Church in Danville. She took off from there. It didn't take her long to realize the plight of the poor and less fortunate in the Danville area and to focus her efforts on them. Helping to develop a food bank for the Red Cross, the gatehouse for the homeless, and her crowning achievement, the Good Samaritan Mission Center. She did it all with a smile, a tremendous sense of compassion, an almost endless amount of energy, and an unwavering faith in God. I might add that at some point in the midst of all of this, she got back into her nursing roots, teaching at the LPN school in Washingtonville. She also backed off a bit when she took on the task of watching seven of her 11 grandchildren. She remained active at the Good Samaritan Mission Center right up until the beginning of the pandemic. As amazing as that all seems, her resume was much more impressive as a wife, a mom, and a grandmother. When she passed away in December, we were approached about starting a scholarship in her name, and we were so happy and proud to make it happen. Which brings us to the big moment. It is an absolute honor and privilege to announce the first ever winner of the Sandra W. O'Rourke Memorial Scholarship, Kylie Mitchell. Congratulations, Kylie. The recipient of the Danville High School Science Award is given annually by the Science Department 
to a graduating senior who has earned the highest average in all of their science courses versus their peers. This year's science award goes to Joy Zhang. The next award that I'm going to present is the Service First Federal Credit Union Scholars Award. This award is presented to a graduating senior who has exhibited leadership and community service involvement and has served as a role model to other students. This year's recipient of the Service First Federal Credit Union Scholars Award is Lily Swisher. Good evening, my name is Gary Grosier. I'm one of the guidance counselors here at the high school. It is my honor this evening to present the Simonton Family Scholarship. The scholarship is presented to a student who is civic and community minded and has a genuine sincerity to achieve a post-secondary degree. Tonight's recipient has done an outstanding job and is sure to have success at Bloomsburg University. The recipient of the Simonton Family Scholarship this evening is Kira Snyder. Hello, I'm Mr. Mast, a member of the Social Studies Department. The recipient of the Social Studies Award is selected by the department on the basis of several criteria. The student must take and achieve highly in required courses at the department and challenge oneself in a variety of course offerings of the social studies. The recipient also should display high, highly regarded citizenship characteristics and have intentions of working in the area of social sciences at the collegiate level. This year's recipient of the Social Studies Award is Zoe Zola. Zoe, in each of your courses in the Social Studies, your performance was excellent with a care for true learning as your teacher in three of those classes, including AP Government and AP Economics. Your effort, understanding, and approach to learning were superb and have left a reputation that is held in high regard. We as a department wish you the best as you move on to Northeastern University, and we're quite certain that you will continue to excel with the foundation you've established here at DHS. Congratulations and best wishes from the whole department. I will be presenting the Soroptimus International Montour County Award in memory of Dorothy Bonowitz. The recipient of this award must have excellent academic performance along with a desire to assist in school and community. Tonight's recipient exemplifies all the qualities of this award. The recipient is Jenna Angel. The Spanish Award is presented annually to the graduating senior who has maintained the highest grade point average through their four years of Spanish study at the high school. This year's recipient is a six-time medalist of the National Spanish Exam, earned a well-deserved four on the AP Spanish Language Exam last year, and has persevered through this year to prepare herself to take the AP Spanish Literature Exam this year. Results are pending. She is a young woman of myriad talents and abilities and has been the charismatic voice of the Friday Funnies this year during morning announcements. The Spanish Award for 2021 is presented to Zoe Zola. Felicitaciones, ZZ. Orgullosos de ti estamos. The Superintendent's Award is provided to a student who has overcome adversity and shine. This year's recipient will continue to shine as she goes into the Air Force for her post-secondary career. It is with great pleasure that I introduce the recipient of this year's Superintendent's Award, Lindsay Cashman. Congratulations, Lindsay. Hi. My name is Mrs. Lachal Kiefer. I am the transition coordinator at Danville High School. Tonight, I am presenting the Unsung Hero Award. It is an honor to announce this year's Unsung Hero Award to Wyatt Holdren. Wyatt has shown great social and academic qualities while at Danville High School. He contributed to the whole school and demonstrated good spirit. Wyatt consistently puts forth his best effort in all of his classes and his kindness is contagious. Congratulations, Wyatt, and best of luck 
on your future endeavors. The next award I'm going to present is the Valerie Walton Woods Memorial Scholarship. I have the honor of pre presenting the Valerie Walton Woods Memorial Scholarship. The recipient of this award must have a strong potential for success and be hardworking. The recipient of this year's Valerie Walton Woods Memorial Scholarship is Zoe Zobel. It is my honor to present the Victor and Linda Marks Health Career Scholarship. This scholarship was developed to honor a graduating senior that is pursuing an undergraduate degree in the field of nursing and medicine. This year's recipient is on her way to Columbia University. The recipient of the Victor and Linda Marks Health Career Scholarship is Grace Fitzgerald. It's my honor this evening to issue the White, Walter Whitey and Ann McCluskey Memorial Scholarship. It's awarded to a senior who participated in varsity basketball and exhibited good citizenship in the community. The recipient of this year's award is taking his talents to Bloomsbury University and studying health science. My, my congratulations and our congratulations go out to Jagger Dressler, this year's recipient of the Whitey McCluskey Scholarship. It is an honor this evening to present the William J. McKenna Scholarship to a member of the graduating class of 2021. This scholarship, which is offered by the McKenna family, was established in the memory of Corporal William J. McKenna of the Danville Police Department. He passed away while on duty July 1993. Officer McKenna Scholarship is designated to a graduating senior who is pursuing a career in law enforcement a career that he loves so much. This year's recipient will continue his academic career at Bloomsbury University, where he will major in criminal justice. This year's recipient is Brady Hill. ceremony. We appreciate your support. I also want to say congratulations to the many recipients of scholarships or awards. You are very special students and we wish you all the best in the future. Move forward and be successful. Thank you.